Hey you all, welcome to Silva Shop. Working on finishing up this vintage air. Today, uh, you know, we're doing the ducking and we're doing the shroud with the vents. Um, this is the drain hose install. And um, so I'm gonna be doing that, showing that to you on page 22 of the instructions for the old 49. There she is. So 27, that's the next project. Um, but anyway, it says to start off, locate the evaporator drain on the bottom of the evaporator. Okay, I did that. In line with the drain, drill a 5 8 hole. Well, you know, I've got a pretty decent shop here, folks. You know, um, got kind of an auto side. I got a wood side. And I've got all kinds of 5.8 spade bits, but metal bits, and I'm a Harbor Freight guy, there you go. My kits only go up to half an inch, and I've got like probably 10 half inch speed drill bits, but I don't have a 5.8. So it's a little perturbing, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the half I'm just gonna wallow it out until I get to the diameter that I need for the drain hose. So I even, you know, pulled out a couple bits that I thought might be bigger and just drilled them into the hole to see. There's the half inch and here's the drain tube. It ain't gonna go. So I'll just wallow it out until, you know, um, I get to the diameter that I need. All right, y'all, so, Y'all been following me on my progress. You can see right now that the shroud is not in, but the ducking is. So I stopped after the ducking. I got the drill hold, as you guys probably know from the other video. And I'm not hanging it yet because if I do, it's going to give me more, less of an access to the firewall in which to hook up the drain hose. And I don't want to scratch it or anything. I mean, I don't know why they put that in the steps to uh, install first, but I'm going to alter it like I have kind of in the past. So basically what it says is to, from the drain port, which is right there, go straight over to the firewall and go down to where the firewall and the floor meets. So, you know, in this case, it's going to be right about there. And it says to drill a 5 8 hole. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so um, I needed the instruction said drill a 5 8 hole. I used a half inch and wallowed it out and there's no pinching which is what you want to look out for. You don't want it to pinch because then that'll block your drain hose. Well it is pinching a little bit but that is the hose not the actual hole. So by the way always make sure when you're drilling through the firewall that you know what you're drilling on the other side. Um, yeah. I didn't have anything on the other side, but just a, just a heads up, you know, no need to be drilling through something that you don't want to drill through. So I used a half an inch, wallowed it out, um, fed the uh, drain hose that was supplied into the firewall or into the engine bay. Um, I measured from the evaporator bottom out to the firewall and I gave a little bit for the um, the uh, elbow here and you see that right now it's like a little bit droopy you don't want that so what I'll do is I'll push this through more to give it more of an angle to where the drain you know is naturally you know going down and out then over and out if that makes sense so I'll adjust that but basically I had to have six inches here they called for three to four, I needed six. And then the elbow, they say, you know, um, pull it through the other side, attach it to the elbow, and then um, 
you know, go out to the engine bay, which we'll do next. So that's where we're at. Okay, so we're out in the engine bay. You can see that the hose uh, drilled a hole. Again, you see no pinching um, or no creasing in the hose, which is what I was wanting. Um, it's obvious, sorry, um, it's obvious that I might need some more drain hose to go down because I'd rather have it kind of coming down the firewall and then out underneath, the, you know, on this side of the frame, not the inside of the frame. Just because I got some wiring going on down there and I don't want any of the water to hit that, that wiring. So, uh, it's not a problem, go to Lowe's. Um, I probably have some laying around actually. Um, you will probably need another fitting or if you don't, just get a longer piece of hose of this and attach it to what we're going to attach to the elbow now, which is this guy. So basically what it says now to, all right, so we drilled the hole, drilled hole, three to four inches, mine needed six, half inch elbow coming through, Got we've done all that. Now we're sticking out from the engine bay. It says to cut off um, at the uh, drain, uh, let's see, elbow against the firewall measure and cut. Ensure that the hose, the drain is adequate top to allow drainage. Yep. On the engine side, cut the hose and install the second 90 degree hose. Attach the remaining hose and route the drain below the cab. Okay, so. And then seal and silicone around the hole, right? So nothing will get into the cab. Which, I'll do that from the interior because I don't want to. Um, I'll probably put some more of that kill mat. Just put another piece around the hose and secure it to where, you know, it'll seal it. Um, I thought about putting clamps you know, on these two, the little, you know, seat, or, um, circle clamps, hose clamps, but it's not calling for it here. So I'm gonna go without them. Um, if you guys experience something, some leaking or anything, you know, post down in the comments, I'd like to know. I might go back and put um, hose clamps on them, but essentially what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut it off here, put an elbow, and then the remaining part of the hose will go down to wherever I want it to drain to, okay? Most likely, I'm not going to use this hose because it's not long enough because I want it to go down through that hole. So uh, once I do get it um, done, you know, I'll, I'll uh, come back and show you what I did.